Unit 3. Explore Computer Vision in Microsoft Azure. Introduction. Computer vision is one of the core areas of artificial intelligence, AI, and focuses on creating solutions that enable AI applications to see the world and make sense of it. Of course, computers don't have biological eyes that work the way ours do, but they are capable of processing images, either from a live camera feed or from digital photographs or videos. This ability to process images is the key to creating software that can emulate human visual perception. Some potential uses for computer vision include Content organization. Identify people or objects in photos and organize them based on that identification. Photo recognition applications like this are commonly used in photo storage and social media applications. Text extraction. Analyze images and PDF documents that contain text and extract the text into a structured format. Spatial analysis. Identify people or objects, such as cars, in a space and map their movement within that space. To an AI application, an image is just an array of pixel values. These numeric values can be used as features to train machine learning models that make predictions about the image and its contents. A. Training machine learning models from scratch can be very time intensive and require a large amount of data. Microsoft's computer vision service gives you access to pre-trained computer vision capabilities. Learning objectives. In this module you will Identify image analysis tasks that can be performed with the computer vision service. Provision a computer vision resource. Use a computer vision resource to analyze an image. Get started with image analysis on Azure. The Computer Vision Service is a cognitive service in Microsoft Azure that provides pre-built computer vision capabilities. The service can analyze images and return detailed information about an image and the objects it depicts. Azure Resources for Computer Vision To use the Computer Vision Service, you need to create a resource for it in your Azure subscription. You can use either of the following resource types. Computer Vision, a specific resource for the Computer Vision service. Use this resource type if you don't intend to use any other cognitive services, or if you want to track utilization and costs for your Computer Vision resource separately. Cognitive Services, a general cognitive services resource that includes Computer Vision along with many other cognitive services, such as text analytics, translator text, and others. Use This resource type if you plan to use multiple cognitive services and want to simplify. Administration and development Whichever type of resource you choose to create, it will provide two pieces of information that you will need to use it. A key that is used to authenticate client applications. An endpoint that provides the HTTP address at which your resource can be accessed. Note. If you create a cognitive services resource, client applications use the same key and endpoint regardless of the specific service they are using. Analyzing images with the computer vision service. After you've created a suitable resource in your subscription, you can submit images to the computer vision service to perform a wide range of analytical tasks. Describing an image. Computer vision has the ability to analyze an image, evaluate the objects that are detected, and generate a human readable phrase or sentence that can describe what was detected in the image. Depending on the image contents, 
the service may return multiple results or phrases. Each return phrase will have an associated confidence score, indicating how confident the algorithm is in the supplied description. The highest confidence phrases will be listed first. To help you understand this concept, consider the following image of the Empire State Building. In New York, the return phrases are listed below the image in the order of confidence. A black and white photo of a city. A black and white photo of a large city, a large white building in a city. Tagging visual features. The image descriptions generated by computer vision are based on a set of thousands of recognizable objects, which can be used to suggest tags for the image. These tags can be associated with the image as metadata that summarizes attributes of the image, and can be particularly useful if you want to index an image along with a set of key terms that might be used to search for images with specific attributes or contents. For example, the tags returned for the Empire State Building image include Skyscraper Tower Black Circle Building Detecting Objects The object detection capability is similar to tagging, in that the service can identify common objects, but rather than tagging or providing tags for the recognized objects only, this service can also return what is known as bounding box coordinates. Not only will you get the type of object, but you will also receive a set of coordinates that indicate the top, left, width, and height of the object detected, which you can use to identify the location of the object in the image, like this. Tower Building 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 Detecting brands This feature provides the ability to identify commercial brands. The service has an existing database of thousands of globally recognized logos from commercial brands of products. When you call the service and pass it an image, it performs a detection task and determine if any of the identified objects in the image are recognized brands. The service compares the brands against its database of popular brands spanning clothing, consumer electronics, and many more categories. If a known brand is detected, the service returns a response that contains the brand name, a confidence score, from 0 to 1 indicating how positive the identification is, and a bounding box, coordinates, for where in the image the detected brand was found. For example, in the following image, a laptop has a Microsoft logo on its lid, which is identified and located by the computer vision service. Microsoft, confidence, 68.00%. Detecting Faces The computer vision service can detect and analyze human faces in an image, including the ability to determine age and a bounding box rectangle for the location of the faces. The facial analysis capabilities of the computer vision service are a subset of those provided by the dedicated face service. If you need basic face detection and analysis, Combined with general image analysis capabilities, you can use the computer vision service. Service, but for more comprehensive facial analysis and facial recognition functionality, use the face service. The following example shows an image of a person with their face detected in approximate age estimated. Categorizing an image Computer vision can categorize images based on their contents. The service uses a parent, 
child hierarchy with a current, limited set of categories. When analyzing an image, detected objects are compared to the existing categories to determine the best way to provide the categorization. As an example, one of the parent categories is people. This image of a person on a roof is assigned a category of people. A slightly different categorization is returned for the following image, which is assigned to the category people underscore group because there are multiple people in the image. Review the 86 category list here. Detecting domain specific content. When categorizing an image, the computer vision service supports two specialized domain models. Celebrities. The service includes a model that has been trained to identify thousands of well-known celebrities from the worlds of sports, entertainment, and business. Black Circle Landmarks. The service can identify famous landmarks, such as the Taj Mahal and the Statue of Liberty. For example, when analyzing the following image for landmarks, the computer vision service identifies the Eiffel Tower with a confidence of 99.41%. Optical character recognition. The computer vision service can use optical character recognition, OCR, capabilities to detect printed and handwritten text and images. This capability is explored in the read text with the Computer Vision Service module on Microsoft Learn. Additional Capabilities In addition to these capabilities, the Computer Vision Service can Black Circle Detect Image Types For example, identifying clip art images or line drawings. Black Circle Detect Image Color Schemes Specifically, identifying the dominant foreground, background, and overall colors in an image. Black Circle Generate Thumbnails, creating small versions of images. Black Circle Moderate Content, detecting images that contain adult content or depict violent, gory scenes. Exercise Explore Computer Vision. In this exercise, you'll use a simple command line application to see the computer vision service in action. The same principles and functionality apply in real world solutions, such as websites or phone apps. Knowledge Check 1. You want to use the computer vision service to analyze images. You also want to use the language service to analyze text. You want developers to require only one key and endpoint to access all of your services. What kind of resource should you create in your Azure subscription? Computer vision. Cognitive services. Correct. A cognitive services resource supports both computer vision and language. Custom vision. Two. Retrieve the objects in the image. Retrieve the categories for the image, specifying the celebrity's domain. Retrieve the categories for the image, specifying the landmark's domain. Correct. The landmark's domain includes many well-known buildings around the world. Summary. The Computer Vision Service provides many capabilities that you can use to analyze images including generating a descriptive caption, extracting relevant tags, identifying objects, determining image type and metadata, detecting human faces, known brands, and celebrities, and others. 
You can find out more about using the computer vision service in the service documentation. Cleanup It's a good idea at the end of a project to identify whether you still need the resources you created. Resources left running can cost you money. If you are continuing on to other modules in this learning path, you can keep your resources for. Use in other labs. If you have finished learning, you can delete the resource group or individual resources from your Azure subscription. 1. In the Azure portal, in the Resource Groups page, open the resource group you specified when creating your resource. 2. Click Delete Resource Group, type the resource group name to confirm you want to delete it, and select Delete. You can also choose to delete individual resources by selecting the resources, clicking on the three dots to see more options, and clicking Delete. C. 